Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I built my hamster Bilo. My uh, brother Bilo. His compliment cage from Ikea. Um, this happened as a result of me wanting to build him a detail or the Linmon cages but my local Ikea was actually out of everything so I've had to improvise and I've come up with this new build. It's a great size, it's quite high, it's quite deep, but it's not too long or wide. Since the detolf does take up quite a lot of space, this actually turned out to be perfect for my room. I've included a PDF below with all the instructions in case this video is not completely clear for you guys. Obviously, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Overall, this was very easy to put together. It didn't take me that much time and it only cost me about 60 pounds, which is around $82, which is cheaper than a lot of the cages you'll find in stores, but much, much bigger and cheaper than an aquarium. What I love the most about this cage is that it gives my hamster so much space to explore and burrow and do whatever he wants. It is over, it's about 836 square inches of floor space, which is perfect for him. He is very happy with it. He's currently sleeping somewhere in there. So if you're interested in finding out how I built this cage, then please stay tuned. And I have included some footage of him discovering his cage at the end if you want to see some of that as well. Enjoy. Now, before I continue with this tutorial, I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be placing the cage on. This is the Torrendo from Ikea. It wasn't very expensive at all. I really like it because it is very sturdy. The legs are metal and it is wide enough to be a full base for the cage. I didn't want the cage overflowing on the sides and it only took me like 10 minutes to set up. So definitely a recommendation. Obviously you can use something you already have on hand, whatever you want to put the cage on. You could technically put it on the floor if you want, but I just wanted to show you guys this is what I'm gonna put the cage on and so far I'm really happy with it. So let's get building. So these are the items I got from Ikea. They're all from the same complement range. I got the 100 by 58 centimeters glass top or shelf. The 100 by 58 centimeters shelf and this is 58 by 75 centimeters. You'll need two of the 58 by 75 and then two of the 100 by 58, as well as just one of the glass tops. I will link everything down below and make a list of all the exact items just to make things clear. So the base of this gauge is going to be one of the 100 by 58 shelves. And then the back of it is another 100 by 58. It's just gonna come to the back of it there so that you have the full size as the base and maximize the space you have for the hamster. And then the side piece will be cut to size basically to fit the glass in front. So let me show you what that looks like. Basically the glass shelf is going to come to the front and be attached like so, which means you need to measure the distance from this side to this side and then cut this shelf accordingly twice. So for both shelves, you cut the same size and that way you have the side parts. So I have measured out the width to be 61 centimeters which means I will be cutting 61 centimeters like this. You do not want to shorten this. I mean, you couldn't anyway because this is 58 centimeters, but you do not want to shorten this bit. This is the right height. You just want to shorten this way. So I'm going to measure 61 centimeters and then chop off that piece to make it the right size and then repeat the same process for the second shelf.
Now, just before assembling, I just wanted to show you, because these are shelves to be put in a dresser, I just wanted to show you these little holes that come in the shelf. These holes were already there, obviously, when I bought it. I don't want these to show, so I'm probably going to turn this around, but it's entirely up to you. Um, it could be a good idea to keep in mind where the holes are when you're assembling it and drilling everything together. But I will be turning this one around just to have a smooth back without the holes and the little IKEA logo there. Now for this part, you'll definitely want someone to help you hold these together so that they stay at a right angle. This is going to be the base part and this is the back wall. This is the back side of the hamster cage. And what I'm going to do is drill these screws from this side into into here. I've spaced them evenly. I'm going to use eight screws. I've put little dots here so you can see. And I'm going to screw eight screws into this entire section here, but you do not want the screws to be closer than five centimeters from the side of this. So from the edge, you, this is a five centimeter gap but because we're gonna add the side here and screw it this way, you do not want the screw coming down to interact with the one that's coming that way, if that makes any sense. So I am leaving a space of at least five centimeters between the edge and the first screw. And then I've put 10 centimeters apart. And then again at the bottom, another five centimeters from the edge. Make sure the drill you use is long enough for the six centimeter screws. Otherwise you will have to do what I did, which is drill a hole through the back and then drill a hole through the base just to make sure the screw fits. I would advise drilling all the holes before screwing anything in. Otherwise it'll be too late to separate the base from the back. So here we have the base of the cage attached to the back part of the cage, just like so. And all the little screws are along there. And now we want to attach the sides. Now I want to make sure that the end that I cut off, because it's a little bit jagged, I want that at the back of the cage so that I don't see it in the front. And also the little Ikea sign here, I want that at the back. So this one will be going on the right side over here. And then the other one will be going on the left side. So you can see here the back of it, it's a little bit untidy but I won't be seeing that, so that's fine. And then that is on the outside. I don't want that to be showing on the inside. So I'm just gonna put some screws in this way and then at the base of it so that it attaches to the base. And I will be right back. So this is the build so far. We have the base here and that is the full size of the base. And then the sides in the back have been attached to each side here. And then I'm just going to insert the glass part in the front. We'll see how it fits. Wow, look at that precision guys. It literally fits perfectly. It's quite snug in there. Obviously I'm still gonna have to attach the sides. But I am very happy with these measurements. Um, let me show you how I'm gonna attach the sides in one second. So because this panel was turned the other way around because I wanted the inside of it to be very smooth, then we have, because of that, we have those little holes on the side. There's three of them. And I'm basically just going to drill a screw just into there, but obviously you need to be very careful because this is glass. And also I'm not sure how far back the glass goes. I'm assuming it goes maybe half to here, but that's just a guess. So I'm just about to find out. I'm going to screw these in, but because my screws are a little too long, let me show you. So the screws I've got so far are the six centimeter ones. And this is obviously way too long 
Um, so I'm gonna go and use shorter ones, probably four centimeters, something like that, or maybe three and a half. Um, I'm gonna give it a test and then I'll tell you exactly which ones I used. And I'm just gonna screw all three on each side. And then that should be pretty much it for the base of it. So this is with the glass installed. I only used the holes on the side, so it's just three of them, but it is very, very sturdy. Um, if you want to be extra careful, then you can always try and drill some at the bottom here. I didn't want to do that because I wanted to keep this whole panel without any screws, but I am so happy with this. Look how perfect this is. Like it just fits in perfectly. Um, really, really happy with the result. I used these 40 millimeter screws and it was actually perfect. Um, it looks like it goes in quite deep, but it actually does not touch the glass. So I wouldn't go any bigger than this, but the 40 millimeter ones are absolutely perfect. So if you're looking for the right size, I wouldn't I wouldn't go much shorter. Maybe three, like 35 millimeters is fine, but three, 30 millimeters is just too short. This is the perfect size and it does not touch the glass. So I went with these and it, it turned out perfect. So I am so happy with this. And now let me show you the lid. I will be linking the perfect tutorial down below for this lid. I have kept mine quite plain, but obviously feel free to use nicer materials if you want to match the base of the cage. So I bought these little hook and eye combo things. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called but I'm going to attach this into the lid part and then measure it so that this can go this can go in here. But obviously if you are using this technique, make sure that this will not go through to the other side because you don't want your little hamster poking his eye out or injuring himself. So this one definitely should be sticking out far enough. It's now time to fill the inside of the cage. I built him a little custom castle so that he could climb around. As you can tell from the footage, this cage is quite deep. So if you put it on a table like I did, you might have to step on a chair just to reach the bottom of it. It doesn't bother me, but it is something to keep in mind in case you do build this cage.
You ready, baby? Oh, you're still sleepy. It's time for your big cage. It's time for your big cage. Hey, baby. Yeah. Time to go in your cage. He's not quite used to me carrying him yet, so I'm just gonna transport him in this little house. He loves this little house. Just because I don't want him jumping out. Ooh, get your little button there. <laughs> I just don't want him jumping out of my hands, so let's bring him in. You ready for this boy? Ooh, there you go. You like it? <laughs> There you go, buddy. 